guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an eye tutorial. I'm... What? Susie. Stop it. Good girl, Suze. It's okay though. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, thank you. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an eye tutorial and I thought it would be fun to do an eye tutorial focusing on a color that is the same color as my eyes. So we're going to... Okay, yes, we know. It's okay. The UPS man is very scary. I know. Okay, he's all gone now. Thank you. Anyways, so we're going to do an eye look that is the same color as my eye color and see how it turns out. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadow primer. It's going to be really important to have good eye primer because we're using color today and I have a feeling I'm gonna need to blend a few colors to get the perfect color that I'm looking for so I'm just using the wet n wild photo focus eye primer first to go across my entire eyelid from lash line up to brow and next we're gonna be using a very affordable eyeshadow palette for the skin tones in the eye look today and this is the elf everyday smoky palette so I haven't featured this in a video that I've done so far but it is a really nice palette that has got a great selection of shades I'm gonna focus I think more on the gray tones and then use these colors as bases for the eye look today these are all matte shades and they're very very nice so we're gonna start with a fluffier brush and just pick up a couple of those lighter shades and dust them across the entire eye. So you want to make sure that you put it all the way from the lash line up into the crease and then up to the brow bone. Make sure everything's blended as well as it possibly can be for a nice base shadow. And then I'm going to take another fluffy brush and use this to pick up a lighter cool tone brown that I'm going to start in the crease. I want to kind of build a nice inner corner here with the crease color because I really want to blow and smoke that area out and then also focus on the outer corner here. So we're going to have a nice round shape to the eye today. You can see I'm really just fluffing this nice brown color all across the crease, into the crease a little bit, onto the lid as well. I'm just making sure that it's nice and blended. All right, once we've reached a good blending spot, so I feel like I have everything looking nice and blown out for that base shadow, we're gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush and focus in on kind of a gray color. So my eyes have are green, but they have kind of a little bit of a gray tone to them and they're pretty light. So I'm gonna focus a gray color as the base on my eyelid, and then we'll build the green tone shadows on top of that, just because I don't want the lid to get too warm. I wanna kind of focus a nice gray on there, and build the shadow color from there. All right, the gray is on, and now we're gonna start with the fun part, which is the greens. So I'm gonna actually zoom in just a slight bit more so you can see, we're already starting to get a little fall out here but I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. All right, so now that you're zoomed in, let's go ahead and get started. So the colors that you choose for this part of the tutorial are really just gonna depend on your eye color. I'm using the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which is discontinued, but this has a couple greens and teals in there that I'm gonna be able to use to create the color that I need. So I'm gonna take a flat top brush just like this so I can pack on color more easily, and I'm gonna start with a wet brush. So I'm just dampening it on a wet cloth that I have here. And I'm gonna to start to go on the eye with a little bit of this blue color 
Obviously this is way more blue than my eyes are. But this is going to help create a nice base that we can put a lighter green on top of. I'm really only putting this blue directly on the eyelid. I don't want to go above the eyelid. Alright, so there's the blue. Let's do the same on the other. All right, now that I've got that nice vibrant blue all over, I'm gonna clean off that flat top brush because I'll be using it for a different color in a second. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush that we used with the gray originally, and grab a little bit more of the gray and go over this blue. I wanna soften the blue before the green goes on. I'm just going to use this as a blending tool to help dull down slightly. Alright, and now we're going to dip into the green. So I'm taking a green that looks like this and I'm going to start lightly tapping it across my eye on top of where the blue is. Really, this is gonna look like a mermaid, which I'm totally fine with. And then again, we're gonna go back with that same technique, take the gray shade, and go back over the eyelid to dull that green down slightly. All right, so that's getting pretty close to the shade of my eye. I now have this smaller brand that I found. Um, it's from Out of Country, so I ordered it online, but it's Nabla, and the color is Zo. So this is a really pretty pale green color um, that I'm gonna use just right like on the center of the eyeball, right over where the colored part of my eye is. So that it draws a little extra light to the center of the eye. Now I'm going to take color of eyeliner that I think is really flattering for any eye color and will look really great especially with these greens and bluish tones and that is Max Costa Riche eyeliner. So it is a kind of coffee colored liner pencil really pretty and it's one that you sharpen by yourself which I really like and so I'm gonna go ahead and just line the lower lash line these pencils are very creamy so they're super easy to use it's a nice change from black because I think it helps keep the eye very bright and it still just looks really pretty so I love that color and now to do the lower lash line I'm first going to just take my under eye powder brush and kind of hopefully get rid of this fallout that we had happen. I'm going to start the under eye first with a little bit of the grayish color that we used on the top to blend everything out. So I'm going to take it on a little pencil brush, take the gray color and start by working from the outer corner depositing the most pigment there and then slightly moving in to the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that blue and take a wet brush again and start to line underneath the eye with the blue. So we're basically repeating the steps that we did for the top on the bottom. And so again, I'll go in with the gray, smoke out that blue. You want to make sure and connect the outer corner here because we're trying to go for a round shape today. Everything needs to be seamless. All right, and then I'll take the first green color that I use, and I'm just going to use my finger for this, and kind of go and just dab that in the inner corner for a little extra vibrancy. And then take that small brush, 
that we've been using the color on and the Nopla shadow that's the dulled down kind of green color and go over the lower lash line. And that shadow honestly looks pretty close to my eye color. Now for the part that just completes every eye look and I just at this point you're just going to see that it comes all together and that is mascara. So adding the black lashes around this beautiful eye color that we've created is going to make the eyes really pop. So let's go ahead and curl the lashes. And then I'm going to apply my favorite mascara, which is CoverGirl Total Tease. Alright you guys, so those are the eyes finished. I do want to show you the finishing touches that I would do personally for this makeup, which will include a little bit of blush and a really nice lip color to go with the tones that we've created. So for blush, let me show you. For blush, I would recommend using something that has a little bit of a warmth to it because the eyes are going to look really nice and they won't contrast too much with something that's warmer. So I'm going to be using Tea Rose, which is a powder blush by Milani and it's really pretty so I'll just take my blush brush and dip in. I don't want too much but just a hint of color on the cheeks. And for highlight I'm going to be using Becca's Pressed Powder Moonstone Highlight. It's well loved, okay? It's like just an icy, a tiny bit of champagne and warmth to it but beautiful on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that at the tops of the cheeks for a little bit of a glow, nothing crazy because the focus of this look is truly the eyes. And like I said, this is a look where I'm trying to mimic the shadow based on my actual eye color. So anyone can do this. You could obviously choose this color even if your eyes are not this green color, but you will really be pleasantly surprised how great a look like this complements your eyes if you choose the color that's very close to your eye color. So if you have brown, choosing browns and kind of caramely colors brings out the lighter flecks of your brown eyes or blues, choosing different shades of blue can really emphasize the different tones of blue in your eyes. So I highly recommend trying this. And then for lips, I would just do something simple like a gloss. So any gloss that you like, just go ahead and put some on. Nude color, it works best with this look. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and please subscribe before you go. Bye guys.